Hi, I'm Robin with Robin's Re3. I'm going to be working with an old lantern that I found. Um, it has glass in it and it has a lid. We're actually going to be putting a candle inside, a battery operated one that once you turn it on, it stays on for six hours and then shuts itself off. And then I have some various items we're going to be using. First of all, I couldn't find anything to hold the candle up inside of the um, lantern. Well, I have a lot of ribbon, as most of you know, and this was actually on the inside of the ribbon roll. So I'm going. I took out this plastic part, and I'm going to glue it to the bottom. It makes for a great candle holder, and I didn't want anything that was going to show through. So. We're just going to glue that baby right down. And then we're going to put our candle in there. I have it kind of in the middle. So there we go. I just glued that in and that's going to hold our candle in place. Just like that. I also have some chicken wire because this is going to be kind of um, shabby chic, farmhouse style, Americana style. Um, so I just kind of want this to show through. So let's put our battery in there while we're working on this. This is actually going to be like a short project. And I think I want to put that more towards the middle because there is a star on there that I kind of want to show. Then I have some of this left over from a previous project. And I think I'm going to glue some around the top and around the bottom just to kind of make it look old. Or just kind of spruce it up. You could use, I'm sure, any kind of roping. I just kind of want to put something on here just to kind of make it look a little more rustic than it was. Gluing this in between two, these two ridges here. And then I'm going to do it around the bottom also. And since there is a little latch here in the front, I'm actually going to stop there. Anytime you're using burlap, if you don't want it to fray, you can always use a little bit of Mod Podge, and that will stop any kind of fraying. So I will go back later and hit that with Mod Podge, but this is actually going to cover that. So there's the look of that. Then we're going to put a piece around the bottom just like we did on the top and look at that our candle is holding in place quite nicely with that piece of plastic that was on the inside of a ribbon it's these things right here they pop out I save those when I throw my when I'm done with the ribbon and I have a friend that says, when you use the last of a ribbon roll, you get to go buy three more. <laughs> That'd be Rachel. Alright, so 
got that done. Now, I really, I like the hole up here, but I wanted something decorative. So I actually have this knob that I may end up gluing on here when we're done. I think that's kind of like odd shaped. So, so what we're going to work on now is we're going to work on the bow. I'm not going to have a lot of greenery with this because I want it to look simple. I also had these um, stars, which I went ahead and I added a little bit of dark paint to them to rough it up. Actually, I think I'm going to go through one of these little triangles on the side to hang that down like that. Now, there was something on here and I've been trying to get it off. Um, I think I'm going to use that Gooby Gone, but I think when I put my bow up here and what little bit of greenery I have and some pit berries, you're not even going to see that. And I can actually put the pit berries through here. So I think what we'll do is we'll work on our bow next. put that up there or if I just want to put some greenery out the top. I don't know. We'll see once we get our bow made. I love this ribbon because it's got a primitive look to it with the red and blue checks. Oops, wrong way. We need to go the other way. Downward. There we go. Alright. Now, I think with this, I think I'm just going to do like a three inch loop and I'm going to do like seven loops. There's four, five, six, and seven. a zip tie and then I think I'm going to put some of this through here and I'm going to tie it around the back make it a little long so we can always make it shorter used one of my tails. <laughs> we want the ones we're going to be tying it with. Not my tails that I already dovetailed. This top kind of lends itself to doing some different things, which is nice. but yet still allows me access to the to the latch when I have to change the battery or change the time on the light. I go 
little shorter on this side. And I kind of like that up here. This is actually a yellow egg that was on um, a swag that I had left over from Easter. I went ahead and painted it brown and then I painted blue on top of that. And I think that's just a nice little touch. We're going to glue that. Just trying to work with my bow here. I didn't want a round knob. I wanted something a little unique. And I think that egg fits just right. Okay, there's what we have so far. And look at that. That little plastic thing in there is really holding that candle in place. Alright, now for this, what I have is two pieces of boxwood here. And they actually have some brown tint to it which I thought was kind of nice. Now, I'm going to put two of these just right here. We're going to put some pit berries in there. Let's see how far we can take this. I think I'm going to have it come through the other side. I can find the hole. There we go. Just like that. And then we're going to put the other one through and have it come through the other side. Like I said, these little triangles on here are really useful. I'm going to take this and I'm going to wrap the one end around this end and then cut it. And then I'm going to put a little spot of glue there. All right, there's what we have so far. Now I have what I said, I have pit berries here. And pit berries are a very primitive um, add-on. These are blue, they match the ribbon. And I think the green really enhances it. these little flowers that I think are really gonna look nice with this. Problem is I only have three of these. So we're gonna trick the eye. What we're actually gonna do is we're gonna cut this here 
and we're going to add two of these to this one and we're going to cut this one off and add one to the other one. That way they look like they fit. It's just another way to kind of trick the eye because it would look kind of funny to put all of it over here and not have any for the other side. So I'm just going to glue these in here. mix it in like that and then we're going to do that to this side I try to save all my leftover pieces for things like this this was actually a two dollar find um, somebody on Facebook was selling it and I loved the uniqueness of it. Get rid of some of our spider webs here. Just one little flower. Let's see what that looks like. And then maybe two pieces of the peppers. Right in here. Now pipberries, they usually roll them around a pencil just to kind of give them that twisty look. And do I have some spiders webs from the hot glue? I think I want one more. Yes. All right, let's glue this in here. And then I think we're done. This is something so simple that you could do with leftover pieces that you have and ribbon. It didn't take a lot of ribbon. I had these three stars. I want, I have an area, we have family coming in, Ju in June and they have not been here for almost two years. So I'm spending a lot of time decorating the area. And uh, this is one of the items that's gonna go out there. I'm checking to see if I need just one piece of this in there. like it better without. Okay, there we go. Okay, I've decided I want a little more of the burlap showing in this. So I had this twirly thing 
and I think we're going to wrap some of this burlap around there and make it part of the design. Just to add a little different look to it. more of the pit berries, but I don't think I want more. I think I just want a different element in there. Right. Just something with a little different texture to it. So I'm going to pull out that. And we're going to put this in here. This one going down, and this one is going to be coming up. And I'm just going to bend that down. And I think. I'm going to add one more here. Yes. I'm just going to glue that right to the ribbon. And it looks like we need to repair our egg. <laughs> there we go. And I know, we'll tuck this down inside the ribbon. Like I said, just something with a little different texture. Like it. All right, now it's finished. There we go. And that's it. It's done. I thank you for joining me. Keep watching. There's going to be a lot more items on my YouTube channel because I got a lot more decorating to do. Happy crafting. Thank you.